we are coming up to the gravesite of, uh, well, first of all, we are in Elmwood Cemetery. Coming up to the gravesite of uh, one William Woodbridge, born on August 20th of 1780 and dying on October 21st of 1861. He was a Michigan governor between the years 1840 and 1841. He is in Section A, Lot 13, it looks like. Anyway, as a young man, William William Woodbridge was uh, born in in Norwich, Connecticut. As a young man, his family moved to the city of Marietta, Ohio in 1791. He eventually returned to Connecticut to finish his education at Litch, Litchfield Law School, later known as Yale Law School. After school, he moved back to Ohio, back to, back to Ohio where he took the job as prosecuting attorney from Washington County in Ohio and later a state senator, I believe, from Ohio. Uh, around 1806, William married um, uh, the, lovely, the lovely lady, Juliana Trumbull, who was the daughter of John Trumbull. More about him in a minute. Anyways, William's friend Louis Cass and fellow governor at various different times, Louis Cass, persuaded him to accept the posts of Secretary of the Michigan Territory and Collect of Customs, which is pretty much taxes, for the from for the Port of Detroit, where we are located here. These appointments were made in 1814 by Pre then President James Madison. William served as acting governor during Lu during Lewis. Cass's various absences from office in 1817. William was made a trustee of the newly created University of Michigan. He was also elected the territorial representative to Congress in 1819. In 1928, William was appointed one of the three territorial Supreme Court ju judges by pres then President John Quincy Adams. Okay, let's see here. In 1835, he was elected to the Michigan State Senate where he helped draft Michigan's first constitution and was elected governor on the Whig platform of, of Retrenchment and Reform in 1839. He served until he served as governor until 1841 when he was elected senator of Michigan. He later returned to private life on his Michigan farm where the old Tiger Stadium used to stand which is pretty much now destroyed and um, that's all the information I have on Tiger Stadium anyways. He served in all, one of the interesting things about William Woodbridge is that he served in all three branches of U.S. government. Was born during the American Revolution and lived long enough to see the start of the American Civil War, the conflict between the Confederate Army of the Southern States and the Union Army of the Northern States. Now, here is one interesting fact. We're going to go back to about John Trumbull who is ironically or conveniently buried right here. John Trumbull was an American revolutionary author or American revolutionary poet and patriot. He was the author of the novel or poem rather, Mick Fingal. Um, he was born in 1750 it looks like and died in 1831. So this was, John Trumbull was actually one of the first uh, American Revolution gravesites I've found because I've been doing this hobby for several number of years now and I've been to Woodbridge, William Woodbridge's grave 
and John Trouble's grave on numerous occasions. So that's that.